If you've traveled to Maryland and sampled authentic local cuisine, you've probably tried steamed crabs. Congratulations, you've done it right. But now that you've graduated and curious to go to the next level, you gotta try Maryland's soft crab. Captain CJ of FV Miss Paula is gonna show you just how simple it is for an amazing, delicious Maryland foodie experience. We're gonna help this one right here out of the shell and into the frying pan. Right there, it don't get no better than that. That crab has literally just shed its shell. There's the old shell, you can see how much they grow. Probably about an inch or so. Beautiful crab, nice big Maryland soft crab. So I got my soft crabs here. These are the best soft crabs that you can get. These crabs are not traveling long distances across many states. They're being brought to restaurants real close to where they're caught. They don't have to be firmed up where they're pinching at you and everything else. They're pulled out of the shells. They're firmed up enough to get up the road and then they're sold. These are the best crabs. And I'm gonna show you some of that yellow mustard. You got your crabs and then I'm gonna show you all my other ingredients here. You got butter. You got some sprinkled J.O. spice and that's it. You don't need no flour. You don't need no panko. You don't need anything else, literally nothing else. We're gonna throw this butter in here. When we clean our soft crabs, we remove like the face and the eyeballs and the little parts of the, the, the gills there, the lungs on the side here, both sides and the apron. You eat the whole rest of the crab, the claws, the legs, the swimmers, the shell. If you have to remove this top shell in order to eat your soft crabs, there's a problem. This should not be hard and crunchy. It should be nice and beautiful soft. I like to lay these in. We're gonna cook them five, eight, seven, nine minutes, who knows? Now this is J.O. number two. And this is what we typically use on steamed crabs. I like it on soft crabs. It's definitely salty, you can't use a whole lot, but it has an awesome, awesome flavor. Give them a little dusting with that J.O. number two. Not a lot, not like on a crab. One side, that's all you need. A lot more salt in the J.O. too. You ain't gonna be able to eat it, but if you could eat it, it would be the best eating soft crab you've ever eaten. This is a giant six and a half, almost seven inch soft crab. I know you're used to seeing these four inch, four and a half inch little crabs. It's a Maryland soft crab right here. Don't get no better than that. We're gonna take and flip them over. If you ain't cooking soft crabs in your grandma's old cast iron, you ain't no soft crab cooker, I don't know. You ain't no crabber. We're gonna cook this soft crab till it's done. Seems redundant, but you gotta kinda feel it out. Maybe cut it open a little bit, make sure that meat's nice and white like you'd see it when you steam it. Make sure everything's nice and red like a, like a steamed crab. I guess they get red when you boil them too. I like flip them a couple times just so they don't get overdone on one side. I don't think you're supposed to flip a steak more than once, but this is soft crab. He's getting there, he's popping. You can start to see some of that yellow mustard now. You ain't got that yellow mustard. I feel bad for you. Crab gets nice and red, no more blue on it anywhere, on the claws, underneath the claws, on the sides. That mustard will start to, start to ooze out a little bit. Five, seven, eight minutes, I'm not exactly sure. I just kind of feel it out. So when this crab is done, You can put it on a plate, cut it up and eat it. You can put it on a roll. You can put it on bread. You can eat it however you want. Mayonnaise, Maryland sliced tomato. Don't get no better than that. This crab right here, when it's done, look at all that yellow mustard. You're gonna see all of the meat is turned white. 
and the insides are nice and warm. Did I say yellow mustard? How to cook a Maryland soft crab. And now it's time to bring in some taste testers. And speaking of taste, a soft crab does have a different flavor than steamed crabs. I think the butter has a lot to do with it. With steamed crabs, the flavor of the meat is front and center, and the crab seasoning on our fingers tops it off with the pop and zing. Also, interestingly for me, when I eat steamed crabs, my favorite part is a big, meaty back fin. The claws are great too, but I'm hunting for back fin. With soft crab, the claws are by far and away my favorite. The flavor and texture is the highlight of the experience. You pop them in and they just burst in your mouth. Not to mention the advantages too. You're saving loads of time eating soft crabs, not working as hard, and when you buy from a waterman like Captain CJ, you're paying $5 a crab. You can fill yourself up a whole lot cheaper than buying a dozen jumbos. It's quite easier to eat soft crabs than hard crabs, because you don't have to pick anything out. Just eat it, eat it all once. Wow. Wow, it's just awesome. You want another one? That was for him. <laughs> On the way home, my daughter tried teasing me a bit, asking if I was upset she ate my claw. I said, not at all, I won. She said, what? But I stole your claw. I asked her, well, did you enjoy it? She answered, yeah, it was amazing. To which I replied, well, then I win. That doesn't make any sense, she said. I told her I was in a win-win situation. If I ate it, I won. If she ate it, I still would win. Dad, you're just trying to pretend you don't care. My response was, when you have a family of your own, you'll understand. See, crabs are delicious alone, but nothing is better than enjoying them with family.